friends what my favorite spices are to cook with or really what spices they should use in the kitchen. And I totally get it. Like if you're not doing a lot of cooking, there is nothing worse than going out shopping, buying that one spice to use in that one recipe and then never using it again. So obviously I use tons of spices in my cooking, but I gotta tell you, these five are the ones that I pull out over and over again. So I thought I would share them with you today and some easy ideas for how to cook with them. So let's do this. The first one, you may know this one. I really wish you could smell this over, uh, over the screen, is cumin. And it gives like a really delicious earthy flavor to lots of dishes like Mexican food and tacos and pork. Uh, I'm trying to think of other ways I use it. I'll add a little bit to my guacamole to kind of like jump up the flavor. And here's a really cool way I love to use it. It's like a very family friendly dish I love to make for my girls. I, uh, I'll do sweet potato fries, toss them in a little bit of olive oil, cinnamon and cumin, and then roast them in the oven and it just balances out the flavor. Okay, so number one, cumin. Number two, this one's kind of cool too, granulated garlic, if you guys can see this. Now, obviously, I'd always rather use fresh garlic when I can, but here's the really cool thing about granulated garlic. It's made from dried garlic cloves that are pulverized into a powder, so it gives you this like really authentic garlic flavor with no burning. So if you're gonna sear a steak or put something on a really hot grill, granulated garlic is an awesome way to go. Um, let's see, I use it on grilled shrimp and like I said, definitely on steaks. Okay, third one. This one is really, truly one of my favorites. I could go on and on about it. Smoked paprika or pimenton. Now, I don't know if you've, if you've ever had this, but I'll describe places where you might have. It gives chorizo that beautiful red color inside and that really delicious smokiness. And it's totally not the dusty orange paprika that you might remember from like grandma's potato salad or deviled eggs. This is made in Spain with uh, pimento peppers that are dried and then smoked. So it gives everything this really, really awesome, kind of like a barbecue-y sort of a flavor. So I love to use this definitely in steaks, uh, in lots of dips. It's excellent if you want to puree some roasted peppers or some roasted eggplant and add a little bit of that. And again, just like the granulated garlic, it is awesome on grilled shrimp. So third one, smoked paprika, also called pimenton. Okay, next up, this one might surprise you too, Italian seasoning blend. So here's the thing. I'm a chef. I'd always prefer to use fresh herbs, but let's be realistic. If you're making dinner one night and you don't have any fresh herbs in the fridge or in your herb garden, um, or, you know, herbs can be expensive if you buy like four or five different ones and you don't get to use them up, it's total waste. Italian seasoning blend is a really cool mixture of different Italian herbs that have all been dried and blended together. It gives everything this really awesome kind of grandma sauce taste to it. So I use it in marinaras, I use it in meatballs. I think you guys will really enjoy this one. Last up, totally seasonal right now too, and I really, really love this one, pumpkin pie spice. So what's super cool about pumpkin pie spice is it's a blend of cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and allspice, perfectly balanced. So it kind of gives you that pumpkin pie flavor in whatever you're cooking. But I use it in savory things too. If you're making a pumpkin soup, or butternut squash soup, it's delicious in that. If you're doing baked apples, it's great. And another way I really like to use it, if I make like a vanilla smoothie or something for myself or my daughters, you can add a little bit and it gives it kind of like a cool eggnoggy sort of a flavor. So to repeat and run them down again, and again guys, I'm gonna post the list below and also some links to recipes so that you can try these at home. Spices that I love the best that are gonna simplify your cooking, you can pull them out, you can use them in lots of different things. Cumin granulated garlic, smoked paprika, Italian seasoning blend, and pumpkin pie spice. So if you learned something new today or you found this helpful, please be sure to like my Facebook fan page, this page, and share this with your friends too. Thanks.